One more champion to go, and it'll be just a few more minutes before Paul Griffin and company from Shelby, a town of about 1,700, take on Saginaw St. Stephen, Elijah Coates and company. Coates, a 6'4 junior, he'll be around. He's made some uh, all-state second and third teams and some honorable mentions. Paul Griffin is everybody's all-state this year at 6'9", he's a senior. His cousin, Kim Griffin, played last year, and the two of them combined to help Shelby to the state title last year. Plus, Kim's brother is on this team, that's Jack Griffin. So Jack Griffin, number 40, and Paul Griffin, number 33 tonight, are cousins. Quite fine. But the Kim Griffin that was in last year is Jack Griffin's brother. And Bob Beckman, who also starts for Shelby, is a cousin to, we'll all remember, the great Ron and Bill Beckman, both of them all staters a few years ago. That town is full of cousins. <laughs> oh, Cousin City, right? Right, Cousin City, Shelby. Ed Dalma, the coach for Shelby, in his fourth year at, as head coach of the Tigers. He has a 14-3 record in the regular season this year and 21-3 overall. Uh, Saginaw St. Stephen carries a 13-3 regular season and 20-3 overall in tonight's game. St. Stephen won the title here in 1969. Shelby won it last year. Green and gold, Saginaw's colors, they're the Titans. They do not play in a league all year. Shelby was the West Michigan Conference co-champions along with Mason County Central with an 11-1 record. And purple and white are the Tigers. And now let's turn things over to Rick for the introduction of the players. Okay, we're standing by for the public addresses and they're trying to straighten out the clock here. Final in the NCAA, UCLA 81, Florida State 76. And I guess the showing Florida State put on the other night wasn't just uh, for chance. They upset North Carolina. North Carolina did win the consolation, so North Carolina took third place. Okay. They're having some problems with the clock. They can't get it to add up to eight minutes. Well, the problem is, at the south end of the field, the clock says one minute. And at the north end of the field, it says 59 seconds. And Dalma just told his boys, uh, his eight, first eight men to go out and practice some more, do some shooting. Now they say, let's go ahead and introduce the players and try to get things fixed up while it's good. Both teams have all their supporters right here with them. for the Shelby Tigers. And a guard, number 14, Bob Gosselin. He's five foot nine inches tall and a junior. For the Titans, Saginaw High School, Saginaw St. Stephen. Number 21, Rick Moody, six foot eight and a senior. For the other guard for Shelby, number 20, Bob Beckman. He also has six foot, and also a senior. Saginaw St. Stephen's, number 51, Jeff Wilson, six foot three inches tall and a senior. And center for Shelby, the All-Stater, standing six foot nine, Paul Griffin. And center for Saginaw St. Stephen, number 11, Elijah Coates, he stands six foot four. And the forward for Shelby, number 22, Dan Van Dyman. And that is standing six foot three, he's a senior. And for Saginaw St. Stephen, number 15, Jim Beavers. Beavers, a sophomore, standing six foot one. And rounding out the starting five for Shelby, number 40, Jack Griffin, six foot one, a junior. And number 45, Gracie Weber, a six foot senior for Saginaw St. Stephen. We'll be back for the start of tonight's game right after this message. And Elijah Coates, the two key players in tonight's game, jumping center against each other. Griffin controls the tip. Over to Beckman. Beckman with the ball on the near side. Gives over to Gosselin. 
Castle into the ball now. Back down to Beckman. Griffin outside. Shot by Van Dyne, no good. Rebound for Ford. Goes out of bounds. It'll be Shelby's ball. It's an old master. Down the with the ball. Inside to Griffin. Griffin, a short jumper. No good. Rebound. Control by Sargon. They speed up for a foul. Call it number 22. And Van Dynan. That, of course, is Van Dynan's first foul. And the first team foul on Shelby. Okay, just got it away. 7.32 still remains to be played in the first period. This is Jeff Wilson at the line for the Titans of Saginaw St. Stephens. His free throw up, no good. Rebound, pull down by Griffin. And now over to Bob Beckman. Here's Stolen. Stolen by Rick Booney. Goes in for a shot, no good. Rebound the coach and he puts it in. Elijah Coach throwing first line for Saginaw St. Stephens. They pull into the lead, two to nothing. Another bad pass. This time it's Weber with the ball. Gives back now to Moody. In the corner. Good by Jeff Wilson. Four to nothing. Zagger L.J. Stevens pulled off to a quick lead here in the C championship game. This is Beckman trying to get across the timeline. Gives it in to Goslin. Goslin to Griffin driving the baseline. Oh, Griffin with a quick nine. Puts in Shelby's first two points. That makes it four two. <laughs> Here comes Moody. Off to Elijah Coates. Six to two. Still on St. Stephen in the lead. Goslin across the timeline. In the corner out of Griffin back to Goslin. Goslin out of Beckman. Beckman? Beckman to Goslin. Mm -hmm. Trying to work it into Griffin. That's what they want to do. They get it in. Hook shot by Griffin is no good. And a foul called on Griffin as he reached in for the rebound. Paul Griffin draws his first personal. It will send the Titans from Saginaw State Stephen to the line. They lead it right now, 6-2, to two, with 6-10 remaining in the first period of play. Coming to the line will be number 51, Jeff Wilson. Wilson stands to be the senior. He'll be shooting one. Up and good. Yeah. He gets seven to two. Saginaw St. Stephen on top. They're putting out a press. Shelby's having to bring Griffin down to help break it. They do get it across the timeline. That's Jack Griffin. They just got it across the timeline. Guys with a little ball. Now in the corner, it's Van Dyne. And inside to Griffin. Turn around, Hooker, no good. He gets the rebound, Ball puts it up again and in. Ball Griffin. Scores his fourth point of the evening. He makes it seven to four. Saginaw on top. Sam Friend, we just saw the veteran coach of Saginaw area. Okay, no, 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 over the top of the backboard off the iron. And a substitution coming into the ball game. Number 10, Stan Stanford coming in for the Shelby Tigers. We have heard a rumor that Goslin did suffer a case of the flu overnight. It was a doubtful starter. So maybe Ed Dalma has decided that this isn't the right thing to do and try to change things around a little bit. So Sanford in for Goslin. This is Beckman with the ball. That's Sanford now, number 10. Into Griffin, on the baseline, up and in. They will that play here, folks. Leading toward the basket, and the big guy puts it in, and Ed Dell is happy with him. But he wants them to punch together. Here's one. To Wilson, no good. Rebound, controlled by Stanford in the backcourt. <coughs> Wilson shot was no good, and Stanford got the rebound. Why not? They have the ball. This is Mooney with it. Oswell, he has to Elijah Coates. Elijah Coates underneath the Boswell. 
Puts it up. No good. Rebound. Comes on. Blocked by Griffin. Beautiful block by Griffin. Woody with the ball. This is Coates. Coates outside. Loses it. Van Dyne with the ball. To Sanford. Stan Sanford with the ball. Right in front of his own bench. In the corner to Van Dyne. He can shoot from there. Griffin drives in. Puts up a layup and he's fouled. By number 11, Elijah Coates. So that even sings up Elijah Coates. The top scorer for Saginaw St. Stephen has one foul. And Paul Griffin of the Shelby Tigers has one foul. At the line, though, is cousin Jack Griffin. No good with the first one. He'll be shooting another. Trying to make it a two-point lead for the Shelby Tigers. Can't do it. Wilson with a rebound. And this is Moody across the center line. <coughs> Moody now to Coates. Coates over to Beavers. To Moody. Drives in, shot up and good. Right over to Paul Griffin. That makes it 9-8. Sagawa in the lead. There's a pass down over the timeline to Griffin. Now Paul has it. Off the stand, Sanford. <laughs> Beckman in the corner to Van Dyne and he bumps that 15 footer. No good. Rebound to Jack Griffin. Can't cut it up. Tries again. No good. Gets it on again. Yeah! Put Shelby on top. 10 to 9. Moody with the ball. Bringing her over the timeline. In the corner. That's Boswell. Out to Moody. Wilson. Gives it to Beavers in the corner. He puts one up from there. Off the iron. It's Van Dyden with a rebound. Gives it to Big Paul Griffin, who gives it back to Beckman. <coughs> Beckman and the Shelby Tigers in command with a 10 to 9 lead. Beckman drives in. Decides better of it. Gives it to Van Dyden, who puts it up. A little long again. Griffin with a rebound. Goes into the lane. Puts it up. No good. Rebound comes off to Wilson. And the Saginaw St. Stephen Titans. This is Moody with the ball. Coates with a turnaround jumper. It's good! And Saginaw St. Stephen takes the lead. 11 to 10. 2.15 left here in the first period of play. Eddie Dalva. You can almost hear Ed from up here. Every so often you'll see him toss the towel on the floor and discuss. Sandrin with a 15 footer. No good. Rebound off for Elijah Coates. Coates gives to Moody. Moody trying to drive in. Gets in. Shot blocked by Griffin. Here comes Beckman on a drive. Watch out behind though, but he puts it up and in. Holy cow. Moody went flying into the crowd. Goslin comes back into the lineup, replacing Stanford. And also in the lineup is Kurt Rath. Kurt Rath replaces Van Diner. This though is Moody with the ball. 12 to 11, Shelby in the lead. Boswell feeds inside to Coates. Puts it up. And, and no good. Griffin with a rebound. Down now to Rath. Rath to Goslin. Can't control it, it's the line. Goes over to Saginaw St. Stephen. The first real chance the Tigers have had to run it, we expect them to see, we expect to see them run it a little more. If Griffin can control the boards, they like to throw it down to that long pass. Ball tipped out of bounds by Griffin. That's Jack Griffin. Jack's six foot one, he is a junior, and he weighs in at 190. Jim Beavers with the ball. Gets it inside the coast and tries to turn around. The ball stolen by Beckman. He reached in and grabbed that ball right out of his hands. Sam Brand's a little disgusted with that one. This is Goslin now with the ball. To Jack Griffin. Goslin drives in, puts it up. And it's the little guy puts it in. Shelby now up by three. Goslin standing only 5'9", but he got in there and put up that layup. In the corner now, this is Boswell trying to drive toward the lane. Puts up a jumper. It's no good. 
Rebound caught for uh, Coyley knocked out of bounds. It'll be Sagaroff ball. Well, there on your screens, you could easily see it went off Elijah Coates' hands. Apparently, the ref thought it was touched last by Shelby. Elijah Coates puts it up and no good. Yeah. Rebound to Boswell. He has it tipped away by Griffin. Another shot up and in by Kelly Wilson and a foul. Oh, it was Shelby's out. Jeff Wilson puts it in a foul on number 20. That's Bob Beckman. That's his first person on the 13th foul on Shelby. So Wilson goes to the line. Only 33 seconds left here in the first period of play. Shelby on the 14 to 13. Wilson's free throw is up. No good. Rebound. Comes off to Paul Griffin. And now Beckman with the ball. Jack Griffin back to Beckman. Goslin at 20 footer. Here's the goal. Goslin with four points out of the 16 that Shelby has. They lead it by three. Pass inside now to Coates. Coates puts on a fake and a jumper. No good. Rebound to Wilson. Puts it up and down and uh, Griffin knocks it out loud. Coming into the lineup is Van Diamond. He replaces Kurt Rath. So we have the original starters in there for Shelby. This is Coates. Short. Tip in and good by Boswell. Give that one to Boswell, and that's the end of the first quarter. There's the score. Shelby 16, Saginaw St. Stephen 15. Well, right at the first eight minutes of play, we're any indication of what kind of ball game it's going to be. It's going to be another barn burner. Looks like it. One point on the B game, two points on the, uh, three points on the A game. What's the D game with a 12 point? Tip controlled by second off St. Stephen. In the corner now, it's Beavers. Beavers back outside to Moody. <laughs> this is Wilson, back to Moody. Moody bounces it off his foot and Boswell recovers it. This is Elijah Coates. Elijah puts it up and no good. Wilson had the rebound Van Nine and now controls. To Jack Griffin and out of Beckman. And Goslin. Is Goslin the quarterback on the glove three? Beckman is uh, more or less. Goslin drives in though, puts it up. No good. Rebound comes off to Moody. Saginaw trying to run with it. Shelby gets back on defense quickly, though it slows it down. This is Elijah Coates. Drives in. Almost loses control. Puts it up and in. Elijah Coates. Eight points. And they take the lead. 17-16. Seven minutes left in the first half. Goslin with the ball. And he's fouled from behind by number 15. That's Jim Beavers, his first personal. Beavers is only a sophomore. He's 6'1". That's two team fouls on the Titans. Goslin going to the line. Bob is a junior at 5'9", so he's learning to take over that quarterback job from Beckman for next year. He has a chance to tie things up right now. Puts it up and no good. Rebound off to Coates. Elijah Coates clearing the board. Here's it down to Beavers and back to Moody. 2-1-2 two -two defense deployed by Shelby. Elijah Coates from outside. No good. Rebound to Griffin. Griffin to Beckman. Trying to run with it again. Beckman drives in, puts up a reverse layup, and it's in. Good move going in there. Locked out his own man as he turned around. Makes it 18-17. Shelby on top. 6-25 to go in the first half. Moody. The Beavers. Beavers up and good. And it's second on Thanks, Beaver on top by now. One now. Trippinating and breaking the Saginaw St. Stephen press. Beckman with the ball, now to Goslin. Jack Griffin and back out. Back and forth out in front. Into Griffin. Tipped away, but in and oh, it's put the hand finally. Paul Griffin had a little trouble controlling that ball, and then finally got control of it and did put it in. The 6'9 college prospect has half of the 20 points for the Tigers. Elijah Coates goes in, partially blocked by Griffin, and a foul is called on Elijah Coates. 
As Crippen tried to pass that ball out, Coach committed his second personal foul and the third team foul on the Titans. Beavers getting a few instructions there on the sidelines. Paul Griffin, the All-Stater. Everybody's All-Stater. Six foot nine. Misses the free throw. But control the rebound. Pass underneath the Van Dyne and he can't control it. Goes over to Saginaw St. Steele. Shelby on top, 2019. Ed Delma obviously upset for that play. This is Moody. Moody out to Coates. I think they're trying, Shelby wants to try to keep Coates outside. Boswell though hits for the baseline. And Saginaw St. Stephen on top, 21 20. 5 10 left in the half. Guys won't have any few problems there at the timeline. Does get it across. And a dribbling a wide circle. This is Jack Griffin. The Goslin drives in, tries to put it up. Partially the foot to by Coates. Clock four and one of a jump ball. Between Van Dynan and Boswell. <coughs> Van Dynan and Boswell jumping it up near the Shelby basket. Tip controlled by Saginaw with Beavers having the ball. Now Modi. This is Wilson. Trying to try to work it inside the coast. The Beavers takes the outside shot, no good. Griffin with the rebound. Griffin a long pass down to Van Dyne, wide open. It's a triple and he puts it. 22-21. Shelby on top. 420 going to half. Elijah Coates delayed a little bit with that shot. No good. Boswell with the rebound. Puts it up. No good. Rebound being fought for and trying to control by Griffin. Really wrestles his way away there. Beckman with the ball. Pass into Griffin. High one. Puts it up and in. Right over Beavers. <coughs> 24-21, Shelby's biggest lead of the evening. Griffin has 12 points. He averages 29.8 a game and picks off 27 rebounds. He is the man as far as Shelby is concerned. There's a shot by Moody. No good. Rebound. Clock for and knocked out of bounds. See what they're calling it. They're going to get to Shelby. When we have some more time, we'll talk about Paul Griffin. He has a few records he's set up there in Shelby. Gazlin with the ball, crossing the big white S, standing up for his fourth state. Shelby! Diamond, looks at a 20-pointer, sends the Shelby fans to their feet as they lead it by five now. Elijah Coates, to Beavers, in the corner it's Wilson, shot, good! 26-23. Griffin, I mean, the ball to Beckman. And nine in the, or rather, uh, Jack Griffin. This is Goslin. Inside now to Griffin. Back to Van Dynan on the tip. Shot is good. Yay! Good play. There's where Danny's good, right from the corner. Good play by Griffin, though, to tip that right out because they have been feeding him inside with a hook shot or just going toward the basket. And all of a sudden, to tip it out to Van Dynan, who obviously was wide open and put it in. 28-23. Here's a shot by Beavers. No good. Rebound by Griffin. Pass off to Beckman. Beckman down the right side. Goes up for the layup and it's good. 30-23. Shelby pulls off to a seven-point lead. And there's a timeout on the floor. The score, Shelby 30 and second on the St. Stephen 23. Five games at Shelby High School has 1,460 points. That's a career high and a record at the school. He has a career rebound record of 1,272, season points 717, and season rebound 650. Can't Quite really a, something to write home about that. Quite an achievement for a young man. Okay, the Titans with the ball. This is Moody. 
to Beavers. In the corner, it's Wilson tipped out by Beckman. It will still be Saginaw St. Stephen's ball. 2.15 to go in the first half. This is Elijah Coates. Shot up is no good. Rebound to Wilson. Puts it up and no good. Now it's Boswell puts it up. But a foul call underneath. And number 40, Jack Griffin. His first personal. And only the fourth team foul on Shelby. And it was a split between four men. 2.03 left to go here in the first half. Boswell will be shooting two. First one's good. Boswell the junior coming off the bench. His second shot. No good. Rebound to Griffin. Paul Griffin is fouled in the backcourt by Boswell. That's Boswell's first personal. It'll send the big guy, Paul Griffin, to the line. That's 14 fouls on Saginaw St. Stephen. It's doubtful that we may even get the one and one here in the first half. Only 159 left to go. Shelby on top by six. Make that seven as Paul Griffin sinks the 31st point for the Shelby Tigers. This is Moody. Pass to the wide side. The Wilson puts up a shot, it's no good. Rebound to Boswell and puts it back in. Boswell bucket makes it 31-26. The Tigers on top. Aslan with the ball. Bounce pass to Van Dynan. Puts a 15-footer up and in. Van Dynan is deadly from that corner. 33-26. Shelby going after another Class C championship. Elijah Coates, turnaround jumper, is in and out. Rebound, six last by Shelby. It goes out of bounds. It'll be the Titans' ball. Should Shelby win it, this will be the first time ever that three defending champions have won again. Wilson gives to Booty. 106 left to go in the half. Moody, a 15-footer. No good. Rebound controlled by Van Dynan for Shelby. And they give it to Beckman. Right now is acting as quarterback. Dazlin, a 30-footer. No good. Rebound to Jack Griffin, though. Back outside Beckman from the key. No good. Rebound. Griffin puts it up and no good. And Elijah Coates controls that rebound. Oh, he grabbed the position on Griffin that time and took away the rebound. This is Beavers. And Coates puts it up. And in. 33-28. 24 seconds to go and a half. Beckman still in the backcourt to Gardner. Now Griffin. And Beckman. Jack Griffin. Beckman. 14 seconds. I think they'll play for one shot. Inside of Griffin. He turns around, puts it up, and no good. A traveling call on the big guy. Six seconds left. Saginaw. Chance for one last shot here. They're down by five. This is Coates. Puts it up. No good. Rebound to Van Diner, and that's it. That's the end of the first half. With the score, Shelby 33, Saginaw St. Stephen's 28. Ball game 33 to 28. You see the score superimposed over the new tartan flooring here at Genesis Fieldhouse in East Lansing. This is the final game of four big ones of Michigan High School March Madness. In the first game, River Rouge beat Muskegon Heights 65 to 64. Second game, Class A, Flint Northern down Pontiac Central 74 71. And in Class D, game just preceding this one. Ewan Shaw Creek 74, Flint Holy Rosary 62. The high scorers in this ball game at halftime, Elijah Coates leads St. Stephen with 10 points, getting five field goals out of 16 attempts. Paul Griffin at 6 of 12, that's 50%, and he has 13 points. Also in the scoring, 
Across the way, Saginaw St. Stephen, tight rulers, pretending that they are number one. We're we'll we'll on the scoreboard right now, they're number two. <laughs> we'll all know right after this ball game is over. Shelby, of course, also saying they are number one. Also the scoring, Saginaw St. Stephen, six points for Mark Boswell, seven for Jeff Wilson, two each for Moody and Beavers. Ben Dynan has eight for Shelby, four each for Bob Goslin and Bob Beckman. Jack Griffin has two. As I mentioned, Paul Griffin has 13 to lead the Tigers, while Elijah Coates, a 6'4", and only a junior, has 10 for St. Stephen. Sam Franz is a veteran coach for St. Stephen. He's been around 24 years in coaching. He had 18 years at Saginaw St. Mary's, where he incidentally won a state championship over in 1953, and he also won one at St. Stephen in 1969. Well, that in itself must be some kind of a record also, with the coach winning a state championship in at two schools, St. Mary in 53 and St. Stephen Open Salem, 1969. And there is the veteran Sam Franz, along with his assistant coach. Both teams have committed six fouls apiece. That's pretty good. 
That's only two a quarter, which isn't too bad. And Van Dynan, that's surety strike now. Van Dynan, six through senior. Just 11 seconds to go in the third quarter. Van Dynan puts it in 10. 49, 41, 9, 8 seconds. And a steal! Five back for the shot in. 51-41. About to start our final eight minutes of play in the Class C High School Championship game for the state of Michigan. Jumping center, Paul Griffin, Elijah Coates, tip control by Saginaw State Steelers, Chris Moody. Moody in the backcourt, now across the timeline. Elijah Coates, in and out, no good, rebound, fought for, and tied up. What a jump ball between Bob Beckman and Mark Boswell. Tip there, control by Saginaw and Stevens. Moody once again with a ball. Almost stolen there by Goslin. There's a baseline drive and two points for Jimmy Beavers. Beavers, a 6 1 sophomore. Cuts the margin to eight. Rath now. Van Dunning beats Heather Griffin, turns around in the lane, puts it up. No good. But goaltending is called. Couldn't see exactly who went above the rim, but they did it. Two more points for Paul Griffin. That gives him 19 on the evening. Pass now to Coates. And he's fouled by Griffin. Griffin moved into him. That's Paul Griffin's second personal foul. He has 19 points on the evening. 19 of the 53 of Shelby. That was the 15 foul on Shelby, so Coates will be shooting one and one. First one no good though. Boswell gets a rebound. He and he's fouled. Boswell tried to go up with him, he was fouled by number 20, Bob Beckman. Bob oh. Beckman's third personal. Mark Boswell at the line, he'll be shooting one and one. The score, 53-43. First one's no good, rebound by Wilson, puts it in. Cuts it back to eight. An eight-point lead for the Shelby Tigers, trying to receive his Class C champions. Saginaw State Stevens, he turns up to do it, and Moody steals the ball. Goes in for a layup. No good. Rebound is Shelby. This is Beckman. Beckman down the length of the court. Decides to slow it up a little bit. Feed in to Griffin. Back outside, Beckman, top of the key. Underneath is Rath. Rath shot, no good. Rebound. Elijah Coates, and that's four on Elijah. Four fouls on Elijah Coates. Checking into the ball game now for Shelby. Yeah. It's number 40. Jack Griffin, he replaces Kurt Rath. There's a good shot of Jack. Yeah. At the line, Dan Van Zynan. Really should one. Leave this ball game by the foul route. It could seriously hamper yeah. off chances for a state championship. A free throw good, making it 54 45, a nine point margin for the Shelby Tigers. Moody to Beaver, the shot is good. That's a good seven. Saginaw St. Stephen's by no means out of this ballgame. Now he's dribbling through that press, goes all the way in, goes all the way in, blocked by Wilson. Ball loose, scramble, picked up by Moody. Moody says, hey, somebody come back down here and help me get this ball up. Elijah does it. That's over to Beavers. Jumper. No good. Rebound. Coswell puts it in. Cuts it to five. They're coming back strong. Jack Griffin. And they want a timeout. So there's a timeout on the floor with a score. Shelby, 54, second off, they see 49. Basketball, 1971-72 remaining.
as Saginaw St. Stephens tries to get back in this ball game. They're down by six against Shelby. Five, rather. And down it from the corner. No good. Rebound. Scramble. And Saginaw St. Stephens. Wilson with all. They can cut it to three. Jimmy Beaver is in the corner to Wilson now. Back outside. I'm sure Sam Brand doesn't allow them to start running around and making bad passes. There's a foul. Foul on number 20, Bob Beckman. And Beavers will be shooting two. That's four fouls on Beckman. Now he's in foul trouble along with Elijah Coates of St. Stephen. And there's Jimmy Beavers at the line. He'll be shooting two. He could cut that margin to three points. No, he can't. First one's up, no good. Well, he can come at the four points, maybe. Five fifteen, all the He puts that one in. Sixty-four fifty. Don't go away, whatever you do. Is this the fourth quarter? Shelby having a few problems giving up all on the timeline and a foul. Foul called on Moody as that ball came across the timeline to Griffin. That's only Moody's first foul. It sends Paul Griffin to the free throw line, shooting I don't believe one. one. Only the fourth team foul on okay. St. Stephen in this half. Paul Griffin shooting one. It's up and no good. Three down to Moody. Dragging out St. Stephen's on the run. Now they slow down. Well, back to Coates. Coates drives in the lane, loses control, but gets it up and in. Eliza Coates cuts it to two points, 54 52. Paul Griffin passes across the timeline of Griffin. Four and a half minutes left to go. Shelby trying to slow it down. Work the ball into Griffin. They do it. He puts it up and it's in. 21 points, 56-52. Shelby's answer is to feed Griffin. Wilson from outside, no good, rebound. Nobody, a foul on Jack Griffin. What? He didn't even touch nobody. Off the pushing. A little unhappy with the call, it almost cost him a technical. I think the referee looked at him twice and thought for a second, I'll tell you. Boswell at the line. He is down by four. He puts it up. It's in. He'll get the bonus. Boswell off the bench now has 13 points. He did not start in this ball game. Second free throw. Yes. 56 54. 4 15 remaining in the ball game. Another super ball game here at Jennifer Fieldhouse. Glad to have you with us. Gowsland with the ball to Beckman. Inside of Griffin, he travels the ball. No basket. No what? basket. Griffin calls for traveling. Eddie Dalma unhappy with that ball. In the corner, it's Boswell. Don't get it. No. This is fitting with the front line. Rebound, coach. Puts it up. Never. Rebound, Wilson. Back over to Beaver. Now it's Coates in the lane, driving in. Cut. Don't run. Rebound, front four. Control by Wilson. His shot. Go now. Five and all. Back and all. Saint Stephen going wild. Griffin driving in. Put the lay up over. He fouled. He got clobbered. Get him, get he him. Hurt. He's awful slow getting up off that floor. He grabbed for his back. That new tartan floor is no softer than the hardboards, I'll tell you that. Now he's getting up. And he gets a good hand from everybody. Especially the Saginaw fan. That's what starts about high school basketball. We're always, there's always good sportsmanship. This has been the finest year for sportsmanship on all eight 
Come on, give it! Give it! He'll get two shots. Jack Griffin at the line, trying to break this 56 56 time with 318 left. First one, no good! Griffin obviously disgusted with himself for missing that. The second one's up. That was the. Titans down the floor. This is Moody now. In the corner to Boswell. Back to Moody. Beaver shot. No, no, no. Good. Rebound driven. Six foot nine inch ball driven pulling down that rebound. And Shelby now could increase the lead to three. Oh, but he's covered by about three men. Here's Beckman from outside. Don't get off. And a foul call. At number 21, Rick Moody. That's his second personal. Rick Moody drawing his second personal foul. That'll send Bob Beckman to the line, shooting one and one. Boy, these free throws are going to be important from here on out, right? 239, all that's left. Beckman. He gets the moment. He must have a heart of ice like Leighton Moulton. It was that same free throw line, too, right? 58, 56. It's good. 239 left. Just as cool as can be. You might even call it a piece of cake. <laughs> Elijah Coates gives to Moody a jumper, 20 footer, in and out. Rebound. <laughs> Takes a long pass down. We leave some of the pressure on itself. Now to Griffin, he gives it back to Beckman. Beckman gets across the timeline. Moves around, Moody was back down in front of him. Van Dynan in the corner. Can't work it into Griffin. So he gives it back to Goslin. Goslin's shot. Yeah! <laughs> Now it's a five-point lead, and you saw the time left. 155 now. Oh Back in all St. Stevens is going to have to come back again. Three miles. Foul from behind. Five Wilson. Jeff Wilson, second personal foul for pushing off. And what a way to wrap up the 1971-72 season in high school basketball in the state of Michigan. I don't know about you, Ray, but I've never gone through so much excitement in one day, I'll tell you. Three great games and a real fair game, right? Yeah. <laughs> and nine at the line. It's good! Yeah! 62, 56, 149 left to go in the ball game. And nine in second shot. No good. Rebound, Griffin. He brings it outside the lane. Set it back up. A well-disciplined ball club. Trying not to force it. Work it in, they do it to Griffin, he puts it up. Yeah! 23 points for Paul Griffin, makes it 64, 56, 134 left. There's a shot by Coach. Ah! And Elijah Coach comes to the margin back to six. Go, go, go! And Beckman and a... Too long in the back court, not get it across, and that 10 seconds allowed him to do so. So that's a turnover for Shelby. Now it's Coach. No good. Rebound. Oh, Rebound. Oh, 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 oh. The next foot. Two on one. He goes all the way, yeah. puts it up and in. Yeah. Two points for Bob Beckford and a personal foul on number 21, Rick Moody. There you see the time left. That was Moody's third personal that put Beckman at the line trying to complete the three-point play. Which would give them an 11-point lead. He does! That could be the crucial point right there. 11 points with just one minute and one second left to go.
Beaver shot, no good. Rebound, Wilson puts it up, virtually blocked. Got a foul call on number 32, Paul Griffin. That's four on Big Paul. Rebound, oh, that is too shot. Wilson's at the line. Down. First one had it good. He'll get the bonus. 67-59, just 56 seconds left to go. Second one, <laughs> Jack Griffin gives out to Cousin Paul. Now to Beckman. Now Goslin. Across the timeline. They're going to slow it down and waste some time. Beckman, back out to Goslin. Beckman, there's Jack no way they can do 11 points in the one second now. Goslin, no, not really controlling this. They aren't even accepting a foul. Now they have to, as Wilson pushes hey. Beckman. They have to foul. That's their only chance. 29 seconds left in the ball game. Coming into the ball game now, number five. Now a timeout called on the floor with a score. Shelby 67, second out St. Stephen 59. People who don't need it. will get two shots at the line. 29 seconds, all that's left. 67 59, Shelby on top. Make that 68 59, a nine point lead, and it looks like Shelby's going to take over another championship, right? And this will be the first time in history that three defending champions have repeated. Bob Beckman puts it up. Ten point lead. 29 seconds, all that's left. Jeff Jocks in the lineup. Right there with the ball for the Titans. Also in the ball game is number 41. That's Richard Johnson. That is no good, but a foul call underneath. Now Jack Griffin. That's Jack's third personal. At the line is Elijah Coates, but checking into the ball game now for Shelby. Number 42, Steve Danville. He replaces Dan Van Dyne, who gets a standing ovation from the Shelby fans. Dan picked up 12 points in this championship game. Elijah Coates, free throw, no good. Just 18 seconds left. It's all over with the shouting now. Shelby is repeated as a Class C champion. Elijah Coates, no good. Tip off. Goes in. Give it to Wilson. 69, 61, 10 seconds. Goslin with the ball, dribbling around. This is Griffin. Underneath. Danville. No good. Griffin chip in. And that's the ball game. That's the end of the ball game. The Shelby Tigers winning the game 71-61. Eddie Dalva being lifted up. And now let's go down to Jack Hogan on the floor. I have Sam with me. Sam, your team came a long way. I don't think anybody expected you to be here. Well, they, maybe everybody did, but we did. We expected you to come here. Uh, uh, we, 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 we had a tremendous ball club. And, uh, we played a good ball game tonight. I thought when we tied them that... All we needed was a break. We called him over there, and I think that's what uh, Big man killed. proved a little bit too much. Here. Yeah, well, we, we, we did do a bad job on him. I think we held him down, but we uh, uh -huh. didn't get outside of what hurt us. Marvelous game. Congratulations to him. It was a firm effort for the whole tournament. Beautiful. Thanks for being with us. Hey, we'll take up Eddie now. Eddie Dalma, victorious. Got to get you here on the television. Let the folks back in Shelby say hello to their two-time state champion coach. Yeah, well, that was just a great win. He could have played a little better. A little lethargic at times, but we uh, think we know how we get him. We're real happy. I'm real proud of the way we played. We, we gave our all 110 percent, you might say. That's what it takes. When you came out near the end, what did you say in that last time out when it was all right up tight? What did you say to the kids? Well, the big thing that we hadn't been doing the whole game was rebounding on the defensive boards. And, uh, of course, I've been saying it all along, but I said it again, and I think uh, 
We started getting the print on the defensive boards. We got those two or three fast breaks there, and they kind of opened it up, and that would have made a big difference. Great game for Paul. Great way to cap the career. Yeah, he, uh, he played really good. I, you know, I should have played better, but I was happy with him. Well, he was there when you rebounded him. Yeah, he got the big rebounds right at the end, and he intimidated him very much on defense in the middle. Uh, they shot mainly around the perimeter, and a lot of times they would miss it. And they would get some garbage underneath them. That, that kept them in the game. They hurt us on the defensive boards, obviously. Eddie, I know a lot of people in West Michigan are proud of you. You brought back a championship for West Michigan, and twice in a row, it's a great achievement. Our sincere congratulations to you. Thanks for being with us. Right up to you, Rick. Okay, stay tuned for more coverage of the Michigan High School State Tournament.